Hi, and welcome. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Integrity Cells. Dave and I are going to present to you another completed product by, by Integrity Cells. Folks, I'm telling you, you're going to have a chance to witness a very nice truck here. It's a 1998 Ford Louisville with a brand new 22-foot manufactured body by Integrity. Folks, we're going to open up this hood. You just heard this big old 8.3 Cummins fire up. Well, Dave's going to pop the hood for us. We're going to come up close. He's going to pull the dipstick and let you check out the blow-by and the whole shooting match, folks. We're not going to hide anything from you on this truck. It's a very nice piece, and we're proud to present it to you. So let's come up close. We're going to get right up here by Dave, and we're going to let you have a look at the blow-by. Check it out, folks. As you can see there, it has very, very minimal blow-by. Very nice truck. For the miles it has, it's in absolute, fantastic, excellent condition. Now, let's come on around here to the actual drive passenger side. I'm going to pull this dipstick tube for you, and I want you to look how nice and clean this oil is. Look at that. You can see right through the oil onto the metal stick. Very, very impressive. I'm going to go ahead and pop this dipstick back in. Look at these nice new filters. It's been freshly serviced all the way around. Where are you going to find one this clean, folks? Check out the oil pan. Look at these nice, needy brake shoes. Check it out for yourself, folks. Let's pop on around and give you a look at that at the driver's side as well. And then we'll get on around with the video. How about these nice 90% steer tire? Heavy-duty double coin 22 fives. Again, look at the evidence of the fill filters. Everything being replaced. As we were having the verbiage, folks, you can see it here with your eyes on this video. Very, very nice, clean 8.3 Cummins motor. Go ahead, Dave, pop the hood down, and let's go ahead and get this video on around. Okay, folks, I'll tell you what. I'm going to start right here at the front. Dave's going to fire up the motor, and I'm going to let you have a look at the bed and hoist going up and down. While he's getting that done, I'm going to walk on down on the passenger side. Folks, you can see there's not a scratch in this paint. Very nice, bright paint. Check this out for yourself. Come on down. I'm going to head on back to the back of the truck. And when he gets that fired up, we're going to watch him raise the hoist. Now, check this out. Look how nice this sets on here. Now, look at that go up without even revving up the motor folks. Very, very nice system. It's a factory, heavy-duty Omaha twin-cylinder scissor hoist with a direct mount PTO pump, all air-controlled, folks. It's the latest and greatest. Right here for sale in time to get your harvest done. Now, Dave's going to go ahead and shut the truck off so we can hear better in the video. And I'm going to come up close and let you have a look at these nice, clean fuel tanks. Obviously, no rust blisters. Folks, I'm challenging you to find a truck this clean in this year range. Look at this, folks. No rust behind the cab. Factory paint. We're not hiding a thing here for you. Look at these nice, clean frame rails, folks. Look at the nice new oil reservoir, air controls. Check out this heavy-duty scissor hoist. Now, let's get on back here and show you a very special treat. You're going to go a long way to find very nice, clean differential like this. Look at this nice brake shoe depth in the back axles. Nice heavy Hendrickson suspension. Look at this. Now folks, let's look at the body. Heavy duty construction by Integrity. Look at these cross members folks. They're an actual C channel with a level bevel on the lip here so that nothing is going to stay on there and rot out like your cheaper bodies. Folks, I'm telling you, you buy this one time and you'll never replace it. It's all solid welded construction. Dave's going to go ahead and look Lower the box down so we get you a real nice look at the sidewalls and everything on it. And while he's doing that, I want to focus on these nice 90% grippers. Look at these tires. Where are you going to find it all in one package at a price you can afford? Look at these nice wheel ends, folks. All chromed out. Fresh painted steel rims in very nice clean condition. Now, I'm going to come on back and I'm going to angle down this passenger side. You can see the box is slowly lowering down. You can run this hoist down without pressure, without the motor run. It's a very nice fuel saving factor because you can raise it up, shut your truck off, and you can dump and put the box down whenever your load is off. So it's a very nice thing for you. Now I'm going to walk up close, folks, and I'm going to show you something. As we walk along here, look at these continuous welded, time-tested stamped rib design. Single wall, no 
place for stuff to get in between and all solid welded seams. Look at that. Now let's come around to the back and I'm going to have Dave go ahead and demonstrate this crank lock roll tarp for you. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the crank lock roll tarp. I'm going to zip it out of this container right here. Now folks, I want to stress that we made this body right here at our Integrity Manufacturing Plant. We are the manufacturers of the body. Uh, we've done it since 1982. We're second generation into it. Um, as you can see, as this zips on across here, uh, how nice that goes. And this does open and lock both sides. So I can lock that right there. Uh, we can lock it in that position. Now, uh, let's zip up here, and we're going to open up this back door and have you, let you have a look on the inside of this sucker. Now, come on up here and take a look. Notice the ladder up in front. You can climb right up and look down your load and, and climb both ways. Notice the structures on top and the inside and all the solid welded construction. Check it out folks, all in one package. All solid welded, nice smooth steel floor with no lip to catch any grain. It is impressive folks. Now he's going to close the door. Take note while he does this folks. You can see we have three grain doors in the back so it's not even necessary to open the cargo doors under normal circumstances. And the center door, obviously your main door, has an absolute extension chute on it which is very beneficial. Check out how nice that works folks. Now I'm going to get you a nice look underneath here while Dave pops the tarp back shut. Look Look under the back here. Look at this impressive heavy duty hinge system on this sucker. You never have to worry about is my hinge going to let go. This sucker is staying put. Look at the nice clean differential back here. No rust now or ever. Look at the nice heavy C channel bumper. Folks, if you need a hitch for a wagon, we offer that as well. You just give, them, give us a call. Now, let's head on up on this driver's side yeah. of the box now, with folks, the tarp take down. Look, take a look up here on our top. Now, you can dump with this with it closed. We do have a vented tarp cap up here on the top up there. That's the vented cap right there. That allows you to dump with your tarp with it already tarped and then dump it out and without sucking that tarp down. Now come along here and drill on this side and let's look at this beautiful machine. Okay folks, let's show you the duplication of these nice tires and wheels. All the way around you can see we have a duplication of tread depth, nice Hendrickson suspension. Look up this side of the box, you can see we have the aluminum paint guards to prevent damage on your paint when the tarp flops closed. Let's come on up and as Dave mentioned the ladder on the inside, here you can see the nice steps on the outside so you can step out of your driver's door right up over the top rail and inside the box if you like. Now folks, I am excited to show the inside of this cab. It's just really nice. It drives nice. We're going to show you later on a, on a real nice drive, but take a look at these beautiful panels on here. You don't see a lot of wear. This is a really, really nice machine. Now check this out folks. I know it's a Ford, but the only thing Ford about it is the name. This is an absolute Sterling cab style, therefore no rust now or ever. These are absolute fiberglass doors. There is no way for them to rust. Look around the cab folks. It is impressive, it's clean, and it's a desirable piece. I'm going to move this floor soil protector. You can see we have a very nice floor mat in it. No holes in the rubber. Very impressive. Nice air ride seat. And how about these air control? right here at your fingertips standing outside the truck. You can stand here, look back, and control your hoist at your fingertips. Now let's hop on up here in the driver's seat. I'm going to let you have a nice look across the top of the dash and everything. You can see it's very nice and clean. And I'm actually going to go ahead and slide on over to the passenger side and have Dave come in here and join us. And we're going to head out and give you a nice road test with this truck. I'm telling you folks, you're going to get to see how nice and low geared we are and the whole shooting match. And we'll give you an opportunity to check out the actual engine oil pressure in just a minute here. We're going to go ahead and show you we have heated mirrors, fog lights, dip lock, all the controls in here. It's equipped with AC, AM, FM, and tape player. It has all the basic necessities you need for a farm truck. And I'm telling you, on top of all that, this is a special truck. Very, very unlikely that you're ever going to find in 1998 that is a non-electronic engine. It has an actual mechanical shutoff here. There is no computer on this engine, folks. It's a mechanical 8.3 Cummins, and anybody can work on this motor, folks. Very valuable. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at that oil pressure while we're sitting. We're sitting here right at an idle, and you can see it's just under 60 pounds. And watch when I gas it up. Watch that oil pressure climb. That is impressive. Okay folks, I'm going to focus on the ground outside and I'm going to let you see how nice and slow first gear is. Now we're going to go back, that was actually second gear. Here is first gear ladies and gentlemen. Look at that thing creep and how nice and slow she goes. Let's try it in reverse. 
Wow, look how low geared this sucker is. Barely moves in first and reverse gear. Folks, that is an absolute basic necessity so that you're not smoking your clutch when you're pulling out 700 bushels out of the field. Now, we're going to go ahead and pull out of our parking lot here, and we're going to wind this out heading down the road to let you see that Dave can flawlessly shift right through the gears without any problem. Now, take a look here. His foot is not in the clutch, and he is flawlessly power shifting through. Folks, there's the phobia out there about I have to have an automatic transmission, but I'm telling you that you do not need an automatic transmission. Transmission. You have way more power with a manual transmission, and what I'm also telling you is, is you don't need to clutch it every time you're shifting. Look at this, folks. He's power shifting right through these gears, and man, you can hear that turbo kick in. It has power to who tied him. And we're running down a rough old back road here, and you're going to find out this truck is very quiet considering... We're sitting in a rough road here. There's not a lot of bounces. There's not a lot of squeaks going on in the cab. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we drive a lot of trucks here. And this, uh, this is a very comfortable truck to drive. I can see out here really well. The glass and everything is nice and shiny and nice. Um, this, this shifts really nice. Um, it's really important to be able to go slow, but also have the top end speed with the power. And as we drive down the road, this thing has power. I can, it just, you can just feel it take off. Now, folks, I'm going to show you the transmission shift pattern. There you can see we have a very basic 9-speed Road Ranger transmission. Folks, anybody can learn to shift this truck. Very nice. Now, here we're going to go across the rough now, intersection. You can see up here we've got a 45-mile-an-hour speed limit, so we're not going to overdo it crazy. Uh, we do have neighbors around here that we got to look at and watch. But we are going to zip it up there at about 55 or a little more miles per hour and show you how it operates here. You can see the oil pressures and are really good up here, about 64 pounds of pressure. As we zip up here, you can see the RPMs are tacking up there close to 2,000 RPMs. You can see we're already up here to 45 miles an hour. And we're just getting into it. I've got a lot of foot left here in the pedal. Now, folks, as you can see, we're cruising right down the road here. We're coming up on 50 mile an hour. No problem. Lots of power. This sucker runs out good. Cruising at about 2,100 RPM, and we're running about 55 miles per hour. Folks, with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the video. We're going to tell you thank you for shopping Integrity Cells. You please give us a call with any questions, and we'll be happy to assist you. Our phone number is 260-238-5000, and the website is www.99trucks.com. Thanks for shopping Integrity Cells. Thanks for shopping. I look forward to talking to you.